Good day everyone! My topic is all about social cognition and psychology, the way we think about others. I'm Gemma O. Quarteros, an elementary teacher. What is social cognition? How exactly do psychologists define social cognition? While there is no single definition, there are some common factors that my expert have identified as being important. Social cognition focuses on how people process, store, and apply information about other people and social situations. It focuses on the role that cognitive processes play in our social interactions. The way we think about others plays a major role in how we think, feel, and interact with the world around us. Social cognition involves, first, the process involved in perceiving other people and how we come to know about the people in the world around us. Second, the study of mental process that are involved perceiving, remembering, thinking about, and attending to the other people in our social world. Third, the reason we attend to certain information about the social world, how this information is stored in a memory, and how it is used to interact with other people. One of the examples is, imagine that you are getting ready to go on a blind date. Not only do you worry about the impression and signals that you are sending to the other person, but you are also concerned with interpreting the signals given by your date. How do you form an impression of this person? What meaning do you read in the other person's behavior? This is just one example of how people cognition influences a single social interaction. But you can probably think of many more examples from your daily life. You spend a considerable portion of everyday interacting with others, which is why an entire branch of psychology formed to help understand how we feel think and behave in social situations. We come now to the development. Social cognition develops in childhood and adolescence. As children grow, they become more aware not only of their own feelings, thoughts, and motives, but also of the emotion and mental states of the other. Children become more adept of understanding how others feel, learning how to respond in social situations, engaging in pro-social behaviors, and taking the perspective of others. While there are many different theories that look at how social cognition develops, one of the most popular focuses on the work of the psychologist Jen Perjain. According to PRJ, a child's cognitive development goes through a series of stages. During the earliest stages of development, children are very egocentric. They see the world from their own perspective and struggle to think about how other people may view the world. As children grow older, children become increasingly adept perspective taking and have an increased ability to think about how and why people act the way they do in social situations. But more recently, research has proven
provided evidence that the children develop the ability to think about the perspectives of the other people at an earlier age than PJ previously believed. Even young preschoolers exhibit some ability to think about how other people might view a situation. One of the most important developments in the emergence of social cognition is the growth of a theory of mind. A theory of mind refers to a person's ability to understand and think about the mental states of other people. It is the emergence of the theory of mind that is critical to being able to consider the thoughts, motives, desires, needs, feelings, and experiences that the other people may have. Being able to think about how these mental states can influence how people act is critical to forming social impressions and explaining how and why people do the things that involves cultural differences. Psychologists have also found that there are often important cultural differences in order or in social cognition. When looking at a social situation, any two people may have wildly different interpretations. Each person brings a unique background of experiences, knowledge, social influences, feelings, and cultural variations. Some researchers have found that there are also collective cultural influences that can affect how people interpret social situations. The same social behavior in one cultural setting may have a very different meaning and interpretation if it was to take place or be observed in another culture. As people interpret behavior, extract meaning from the interaction, and then act based upon their beliefs about the situation, they are then further reinforcing and reproducing the cultural norms that influence their, so their social conditions. That ends my report. Thank you for listening.